I'm not going to stay at my house. I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I need to stay home. Not only is he not staying home, country star Chase Rice played a concert on Saturday. And now, some of country music's biggest stars are speaking out and slamming the singer for his apparent disregard for coronavirus safety precautions. I was kind of like, oh, this is a nice break. I'm going to take advantage of this. I actually like this. <laughs> um, but now it's getting to the point where it's like, all right, we need to get back on the road. Here's what went down. On Saturday, Chase played a concert in Petros, Tennessee, and shared this video on his Instagram story. Kelsey Ballerini posted it to Twitter, writing, Imagine being selfish enough to put thousands of people's health at risk. The 26-year-old singer tagged Chase, adding, We all want and need to tour. We just care about our fans and their families enough to wait. But Chase wasn't the only singer who put on a live show over the weekend. Fellow country star Chris Jansen also played a concert on Saturday in Filer, Idaho, and he got heat too. The indie folk rock band The Mountain Goats chimed in, criticizing the artists, the venues, and those in attendance for assuring that conscientious musicians won't be able to work their jobs for a while, adding, to be blunt, that sucks. Maren Morris retweeted that post, and shortly after, she shared this screenshot showing that Chris had blocked her on Twitter. Seemingly confused by the alleged block, Maren asked, um, what did I do? Country singer Cam tweeted that Chase and Chris as individuals are low-hanging fruit, along with a New York Times excerpt about contacting and calling out local government officials and people of power to initiate change. Chase's Tennessee concert venue, the historic Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary, addressed the controversy in a statement to ET, insisting, quote, all local requirements were abided by for the recent concert, and numerous precautions were taken. As for Chris, he posted about his Saturday performances a few times, but later deleted them all. A rep for Chris has not yet replied to ET's request for comment, and a rep for Chase had no comment. I know a lot of people are being politically correct and doing the right thing and staying home. And I, I haven't done that. I've, I've stayed home. But it, the funny part to me is like, people are like, stay home. Don't go anywhere. It's like, where are you going to go? Yeah. The places that I want to go aren't open. Chase spoke to ET back in May about how he's handled the nationwide shutdowns and social distancing mandates amid the global pandemic. I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I need to stay home. I'm going to go to my buddy's house. I'm going to go to, to another buddy's house. Like we got about three houses we keep going to that I personally don't think I see anything wrong with it. I'm, I'm going to, I've, I've laughed more. I've hung out more. I've sat around the dinner table more. I've gotten to know these people that otherwise I was just buddies with. Now we're like, oh, we have this. Now we're actually real close group of people. So if you consider that breaking the rules, yeah, I've broken with the best of them. But I've had a blast and I, I don't think that we put anybody in danger. Yeah. It's been fine. I also don't believe all the hype of this thing anyway. I think it's serious. I think some people are dying, mm -hmm. obviously, which is a big deal. But I don't think it's near as big a deal as people are making it out to be. But that's not in my control. I, all I can control is my life. And, and I'm having a blast. I've, I've loved every second of it.